Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge, where we are here with a spy set of surprises today to celebrate the fact that we have our 101 Dalmatians legacy going again. Oh, isn't that just so exciting? I am very happy about that because our 101 Dalmatians legacy, which if you guys haven't seen it yet, is over in our most recent uploads, is one of my favorite Sims legacies that we have ever told. And it has included very many adorable spotty Dalmatian puppies. So of course, as I was settling in and looking over all of the experiments that we should be running in the laboratory today, I could not help but think about our beautiful spotty Dalmatians and what kind of adorable children we might actually be able to have if we mixed a Dalmatian with some other creature. And I'm sure you guys have plenty of great suggestions because I'm kind of on a Dalmatian kick. You guys know how much I love spotty creatures. Those little spotty butts are just so cute. So definitely suggest some more things that we could crossbreed Dalmatians with. But today, alliteration won out and I wanted to see what would happen if we took this handsome Dalmatian and we bred him with Dun dun dun! An adorable dachshund! And not just any dachshund, a long haired dabble dachshund. Who, oh, you guys I had no idea, I'm sure, but happens to be one of my favorite types of dogs ever. I had the privilege of meeting the most adorable long haired dapple dachshund ever when I was younger and she was so beautiful. She had such cute little fur that went down to her toes and she had such beautiful spots and such a nice little cream colored face. So I was so excited when I found that Pug Owned has actually created on the Sims 4 gallery a lovely dappled doxy. Look at her. Isn't she so cute? So this is not how the normal dachshunds look, just to remind you guys. The way that dachshunds normally look and get- Wow, okay, that's not the way that any kind of dog normally looks, just for the record. <gasps> oh my good gravy, maybe we should just be breeding with some, like, mutt mixes. That might be really fun. Crossbreeding Dalmatians and mutt mixes. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we'll definitely try that out in the future. Uh, but just to remind you guys what a dachshund normally looks like in coloration, it would be this one right over here. So this is the more familiar dachshund coloration, but they do come in a much wider variety of colors, including red dachshunds. I have seen some cream dachshunds, and of course, the beautiful dappled doxy, my favorite. I'm telling you, it's something about those spotty butts, right? But all right, so that's gonna be our experiment for today to celebrate our 101 Dalmatians. And thankfully, these two have a sweet story because they happen to be longtime best friends. This is Baker, our Dalmatian boy, and he happens to live with a family of bakers who thought it would be really funny to name him Baker after the family business. Uh, and he's been growing up and was raised with their kids, having a great time. And right next door is a little elderly couple who happens to live with a long lineage of dachshunds that now includes Cedar, young Cedar the granddaughter of their previous dachshunds, who they recently took in, determined that even in their old age, they were still going to be spry enough to take care of some puppies, because what is life without your best friend, right? So Cedar ended up growing up with her best friend back when they started out to be at least vaguely similar size, Baker, who lives next door with that big rambunctious baking family. Thankfully, the baking family and the elderly couple next door are good friends. The elderly couple often can take Baker out for walks if the Baker family ends up being too busy. And Cedar really loves having her best friend around. In fact, she loves having her best friend around so much that as the years go by and they both become old enough to think about puppies of their own, and while both their owners are busy thinking about other things and forgetting about the fact that you need to remember that your dog may be thinking about having puppies, they ended up falling in love. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see what happens when Baker the Dalmatian and his longtime like girl next door neighborhood friend Cedar end up having puppies together. And I'm very excited because we have spots on both sides. Oh, if this was one of our niche challenges, I would be doing backflips of joy because I'm hoping we will end up with this beautiful dapple coloring kind of on a bigger dog or I'm hoping we're going to end up with the Dalmatian spots on a dachshund-sized dog. 
Either way, I will be ridiculously happy with this. And I'm actually immensely charmed with like the, the story of Baker and Cedar now. I made it up literally as I was talking, as we usually do with those little roleplay backstories that we give to our genetic experiments. I try to be polite and not just throw them into the lab, give them a little bit of breathing room for their characters, you know what I mean? Uh, but now I'm kind of really attached to them and kind of want them to go into my Sims 4, like, legacy neighborhood. So you guys might actually be seeing Baker and Cedar in the future. <laughs> just because they're so cute! I just love that idea! That they're just, like, next-door neighbors who fell in love. But alright, let's go ahead and begin pulling in some of you guys as their puppies! As always, I will be using the random comment generator, so all you need to do in order to become one of these adorable puppers, or whatever it is we might be creating in the lab, in the future is go ahead and leave some comments! So let's begin! Alright, Cedar, you've snuck by with a whole bunch of puppies. Let's go ahead and see what they're gonna look like. All right, here we go. And the father will be Baker. <gasps> Look at these spots. Look at these little liver colored spots. Oh my gosh. Behold, you guys may present to you Atlas from Acroboy Gaming. Hi, a good name suggestion from Acroboy Gaming. Atlas, what a lovely name. I can't wait for this one to grow up so we can see if he's going to be small boy or big boy. Uh, and oh, oh my gosh, he's just so cute. I love him! What a beautiful blend of their colors, which doesn't happen often in Sims 4, heckin. Alright, let's go ahead and see what his personality is going to be. Atlas is going to be jumpy, friendly, and hairy. And you know what? I'm going to try to make sure to put these guys up on the gallery as soon as we're done, so that we can actually have, uh, several of you guys take them home if you want to. Alright, let me go ahead and... Next one that we're going to have, now that I have pulled up the next name on the name list, is going to be... Dun 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 dun! Another little boy. <gasps> With spots! Oh, I'm so happy! Welcome to Wild! From a wild fluff ball. You have now been added in as a new member to this little family. And you are a friendly, vocal, independent little guy. Look at you! Oh my gosh, I love these spotty puppies. I think that Cedar would be beside herself with pride and joy right about now. All right, let's add in the next one. Oh, that's so cute. Because I can't wait to see what they grow up into. <gasps> Demon eyes! Okay, I'm sure this is fine. Nobody panic. This is probably totally cool. This is Chris, <laughs> who really likes hyenas. Chris, I'm really glad you like hyenas. Um, we'll just hope you maybe outgrow the demon eyes. We'll have to see what happens. Because really, even though he looks scary, this is just to let you know that looks aren't everything. Because Chris is playful and he's friendly as well. He's also independent, so he won't overwhelm you. Those are really great traits. Poor little guy. I I I'm sure the eyes will be alright. Alright, and then let's see. The next puppy is coming, you guys. Oh gosh. So excited! Oh my gosh, this is a fluff bucket! Not the one we're keeping. However, I'm beginning to think that breeding some dachshunds might have to happen in the future because this is just ridiculously adorable. And this is actually Adriana! And Adriana, I really think that it would be quite fun to go ahead and, yeah, definitely pull in. <laughs> definitely pull in Dawn one day from our Wolf Quest adventures. I do miss her. Uh, but Adriana, you actually are thinking about wolves a little bit, even though you are a tiny pint-sized pup, because you were very stubborn and aggressive, but I think you will behave yourself because you are also very loyal. Alright, let's get the next baby in here. Da na 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 Oh, curly tail! Holy cow! Okay, we're just gonna take a peek at what this sun would look like. Theoretical sun. <gasps> All right, we might have to do some more dachshund mixes. Just saying, just saying. <clears throat> However, that is Cedar's son in another life. Her daughter over here is actually going to be little Deborah from Deborah Campbell. And Deborah, I think that a hyena wild dog and hyena lion mix do sound very fun. We'll have to see if we can mix it up with some adorable puppers and then back over to the wild side of our genetics over the coming weeks. So Deborah. Welcome, welcome to the family. You are a sleuth who is active and hairy, which sounds like an adorable mix. And now, Cedar's pretty tired, but hang in there, girl, because you've just got one more puppy. And you guys, let me go ahead and pull up a fresh name. 
All right, and it's gonna be dun 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 dun, dun. arts, a little puppy arts after Whisker Arts. There we go. In fact, we'll go ahead and name her Whisker. There. That's what a lovely name. She's also got a very unique muzzle. And I love how she ended up with the beautiful brown liver spotted coloring again. So Whisker is a hunter who is very jumpy and extremely playful. So she sounds like she's going to have a ton of energy. If it's going to be the kind of energy that jumps over the fence or just barks around your ankles remains to be seen as she grows up. So all right, guys. Cedar, you did a good job. Good job, mama dog. So now she has gone ahead and had all six of their puppies. Baker is no doubt shocked, surprised, glad there's not 101 of them and ready to be a good dad. And let's go ahead and see what these guys are gonna grow up into. Atlas, you're up first. Oh, huh. You know, Atlas, not quite what I thought would happen <laughs> and we have to randomize the tail because you cannot have a dragon tail oh my gosh look at this <laughs> it's the tiniest little grapevine skinny like no fur tail ever oh boy alice oh my oh me oh my not what i was expecting i'm gonna be honest like you see this pup and you're like oh and you know you know, I love his ears. You know, really, he has a face where the more you look at him, the more you really start to love him. Don't you think, guys? Atlas, you just completely shifted my expectations for the rest of the litter. Just saying. All right, Wild, now that your, your big-eared, adorable, twirly, twig-tailed brother has grown up, you're up next. <gasps> Wild, you're our tiny little Dalmatian puppy. Dalmatian doxing achieved, yes. Through the powers of mixing and maxing random genetics, we have come up with something adorable, friends. Oh my goodness. I just wish he had inherited his dad's little heart nose. But actually, speaking of the little heart nose and dachshund sizes, we do actually have Chris, our very friendly, very playful, independent, with demon eyes that we totally can overlook little puppers. Are you going to end up being another Dalmatian doxy or are you going to be a Dalmatian Dalmatian? The answer is Dalmatian Dalmatian. Huh. And I need to twirly do the tail or at least randomize it again because you can't have a dragon tail. Can't have a cow tail either. Come on. Come on. Okay, you know what? You can have you can have whatever that tail is. <laughs> okay, guys, I actually love Chris. This is interesting. It looks like the Dalmatian's long snout and the Dachshund's short shortish snout kind of schmoosh together. Um, I would love to know your guys' opinion, because this is this is not quite turning out how I thought it was, but I love the little wiggle tail. That's pretty adorable. Chris, good boy. All right, next up we have Adriana, the first little girl. Still little, but ready to kind of like, I don't know, take your soccer ball and run for it. She looks like she could, she could not, she looks like a small tank. I'm going to be honest here. Adriana, you look like a small tank. You look like you had all of the Dalmatian's muscles and you just packed it into a tiny pint-sized pup. Also, I love how long her little snout is. <laughs> she looks like somebody who'd be able to get like all of the snacks from under the couch. No problem. Oh my gosh. All right. You know what? I'm going to say this is four out of four for unexpected so far. So let's go ahead and see what Deborah's going to be. <gasps> Deborah! Oh, you guys, she has like Lady and the Tramp elegant class, doesn't she? Oh my gosh, Debra, you need like a fancy, fancy collar. We need, do we have like a really fancy, like diamond collar? Why has no one designed a rhinestone diamond collar for the dogs yet? I find this to be an absolute travesty. Like clearly this should have been done by now, but there you go, Debra. We definitely need to give you something that at least mildly suits your class. Look at her, oh my gosh. Just going to show you that you can never really guess what genetics are going to throw at you. And then finally, let's wrap up with little Whisker. Whisker, you can, okay, Whisker, your face is ridiculously adorable. You look like you were just eating out of like a mud pile or something and you cannot have a dragon tail. I'm sorry, I, or a cow tail. Okay, you could have no tail then. He's like, fine, I won't have any tail then. 
<laughs> Whisker does look like he's been eating out of a pile of chocolate milk or mud. That's so adorable. But all right, guys, there we go. The Saga of Cedar, who is now very busy raising all of her six children, and Baker, who's pretty proud of his half dozen kidlets, uh, is over and we have their puppies. Didn't expect these. But that's what I love about the random genetics. You just never know what you're going to get. Who is your favorite pup? What are your suggestions for more mixes and matches that we could do with Dalmatians or Dachshunds or other animals in the future? Leave your comments down below and help us to expand the laboratory. Uh, do please consider subscribing if you would also like to get in here and help me scrub these puppies because I'm going to need a lot of help with that. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.